So he presented to us with an absent thumb and an absent in index finger and a severely compromised hand with which he couldn't do anything in his daily activity. Now the importance of the thumb cannot be overemphasized. Now everything we do on a daily basis, starting from eating with the hand to brushing our teeth to getting dressed, you need one important moment where the rest of the fingers are able to touch the thumb and hold the object which is meant to hold in between both of them. So in a situation where the thumb is not there, the fingers cannot go and hold the object against anything. The thumb is estimated to contribute about 70% of hand function. And in the absence of the thumb, you can imagine what a difficult life the patient can have. This was the scenario with which this patient presented. So we decided to reconstruct the thumb with the use of the toe from his left foot, the second toe. The second toe is dissected out from the left foot along with its blood supply. The blood supply, I mean the blood vessel supplying the second toe. Now that blood vessel will have to be connected to another corresponding blood vessel in the hand. Without blood, the amputated thumb cannot survive. The second thing we connect is the nerve. The third thing we connect are the tendons. The tendons are necessary for movement of the trans transferred thumb. And finally, the bone is also fixed because the bone is a foundation on which the entire reconstruction takes place. This operation is an extremely successful operation with very, very high success rates. It produces a significant change in the function of the hand of the patient as well as his life because once you give him a thumb, he can do all the things I mentioned before. He can start brushing himself, he can start using the cell phone, he can start dressing himself up and his life changes quite considerably. Now is this operation not without any complications? No, of course not. The operation is long, it's a high stake game, the margin for error is very very less. So the complications which can happen are the transferred toe which becomes a new thumb can lose its blood supply and can die immediately or a bit later. The sensory return which is the sensation of the newly reconstructed thumb can be less which results in compromised function. There can be stiffness and that can also be an uh, extensive amount of scarring. But the number of times these complications happen is so minimal that this operation is very very meaningful for anybody who's got such compromised hand function. When accidents happen at home or in the industrial setting, the first thing you should do is to carefully recover the amputated part, wash it in running water, and then put it in a plastic bag. Once you put it in a plastic bag, cover it with ice. Do not put the amputated part directly in contact with the ice because it will result in irreversible tissue damage, which results in the inability to do the operation of attaching the amputated part to the main part. The second thing which should not be done is giving the patient something to eat or drink. Now this is a long operation and this is done under anesthesia. When a patient has something to eat or drink, the anesthesia cannot be administered for at least six hours following the last meal or drink. And this results in loss of significant amount of precious time. So please do not give the patient something to eat or drink. This is a very, very common practice in India. And this is a very, very common problem we face on a day-to-day -day basis. This operation was performed in our hospital without any professional charge made by doctors or nurses. Whatever the patient was charged for was for his operation and for the disposables which were used on him. So I would imagine that this is much subsidized compared to the costs either in other places, both in India and abroad.